incredible. Your fingers are magic. You came up with that today. Don't be modest. It's, it's good. I love it. I love these lyrics, too. But I think for the chorus, what if we say you instead of her? I don't think it would be confusing. Sure, it's inconsistent, but I like it. Because at the start, the song is just about a girl. But then in the chorus, if we say you instead of her, it's like it's for the girl. Like you're singing to her rather than about her. I don't know, what do you think? I like how you sounds. Uh, yeah, really? Great, because, okay, I really like you. So, who's the song about? A girl. Oh yeah, I figured. Not one of those feather-brained groupies from last night, I hope. <laughs> okay, good. The ginger chick was all over you. Oh yeah, I know. I saw her face when you walked away from her. Poor girl. You've been doing that a lot lately. Brushing off girls who are so very obviously into you. Is there a girlfriend I don't know about? Hmm. Okay. So, the song you wrote, it's just about some girl. Okay. I think that the pre-chorus needs something. It's just sounding very vague. You talk about this fear, but, um, fear of what exactly? Fear of losing the mystery girl? Fear of hurting the mystery girl? Fear of getting hurt by the mystery girl? I'm just trying to understand what exactly this song is about. Open to interpretation, sure. But if we're going to be singing it on stage, side by side, I feel like we should be on the same page. Yeah, I see what you mean. Right. It's the risk of taking a good thing and trying to turn it into a great thing. Yeah, there's always that risk that the relationship will end and you'll be left with nothing at all. Yeah. You've put a lot of thought into this song, haven't you? I can tell. It might be one of my favorites. Well, yeah. I mean, especially if we turn what you just said into lyrics. So, tell me something. Why are you here with me instead of out with the guys? That party tonight is supposed to be a pretty big deal. I heard Tyler Joseph is going to be there. Hey, I'm the one with the bad headache, not you. You know, just because I'm missing out on fun stuff doesn't mean you should, too. Are you really telling me that you'd rather be here, cooped up in this trailer with me, than out there drinking yourself to death with Tyler Joseph? <laughs> I'm worried about you lately. Because lately I haven't had any reason to worry about you. You sure you're okay? 
Well, all right then. I'll leave you alone about it, okay? We should look out for your rep, though. Because if people find out you're spending your time staying in and writing love songs, what will they think? <laughs> Just kidding. Although, if you want to trash a few hotel rooms or, you know, drive cars into swimming pools, that might help maintain your rock star image. <laughs> what do you mean? Keith Moon was a great role model. Jim Morrison, too. If you could get arrested on stage, I think that would do wonders for your reputation. <laughs> Kidding. Please don't wind up like Keith Moon or Jim Morrison. Yeah, don't die young, okay? Okay, wait, don't even joke about that. You know the band would fall apart if we lost you. Of course we would. You're the lead guitarist. You're also a fan favorite. I, you are the band. Don't tell the others I said that. <laughs> what you were saying earlier about, um... Fear of losing someone completely... It kind of has me thinking. Well, okay, sometimes losing people is out of our control, right? So, shouldn't the real fear be never getting the chance to be with someone completely? I mean, what if the person dies? Sorry, that's a little extreme, but... <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but I think I would rather take the risk of ruining a good thing for a great thing. And if if it falls apart, then, then I think that's okay, because I'd rather have all of somebody for a short time than just a piece of somebody for a long time. Piece of you. That should be the song title. We needed a song title, right? What do you think? Uh, oh, you don't like it. Oh, okay. Then, what's up? <laughs> you're making a face. Like you're trying to figure out how to tell me something. Oh no, you haven't been reading dirty fanfiction about yourself again, have you? I told you to stop looking at those. They always make you so uncomfortable. And then you show them to me and I have to listen to you rant about it. Saying stuff like, I would never call someone baby girl. I don't talk like that. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Is this about the song? Do you not like the changes I made? Because we don't have to keep them. Okay. What's going on? I've never seen you nervous like this. Not even at our first gig. Tell me. Is everything okay? Am I the mystery girl? I'm the mystery girl. I, um... No, I had no idea. How was I supposed to know that? <laughs> the lyrics are so vague, what do you mean? It could really be about anyone. What do I think? I... I love the song. Right. About you. Um... I... 
we're in a band. You're not supposed to get romantically involved with your bandmates. What happens if you and I break up? You know what then? The band breaks up? We can't have that. What about everything I said earlier? The whole speech about risking a good thing for a great thing? Yeah, but this is different. This wouldn't just affect us. This would affect the whole band. Okay, the band, we're good at a lot of things, but not conflict. You remember when we were arguing over the set list? That was bad. Now imagine if our feelings got involved. It would be a bloodbath. I don't want to screw things up for the band. Look, maybe you should go to that party. Okay, I'll keep toying with the song. Okay. And hey, I think you're amazing. you? How many people can fit into one house party? <laughs> Excuse me. This music is not helping my headache. <gasps> is that Tyler Joseph? Okay, no focus. You have to be around here somewhere, come on. <sighs> there you are. <clears throat> hey. Hi. <laughs> I, I know, I I came here to find you. Yeah, I do still have a headache. Um I feel like crap actually, but um not just because of the headache. <sighs> Listen, um You caught me off guard earlier. I don't know how I didn't see it coming, but I didn't. I never would have guessed that the song you wrote was about me. But, um, I read through the lyrics you wrote again, and I thought about things. I thought about you. Look, I, I fell in love with music when I was six years old at my first Lincoln Park concert. And it was the first time in my life that I can remember really feeling alive. You know, I felt like I was flying. It's a natural high. And that's how I feel when I'm with you. Whether we're at a party or we're on stage or we're just in a trailer writing new music. I feel like I come alive when I'm with you. And I guess that never really fully sunk in until I looked at your song some more. Because your song is exactly how I feel, I think. I think I'm scared of losing you completely. And that we could break up the band. But you know what? Screw it. They're all off making who knows what kind of terrible decisions right now. <laughs> I meant what I said earlier. More than anything, I'm scared of never knowing what you and I could be. Which is why I am willing to try, if you are.
is that a yes? 